Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 24 Mercari Bolo items to be on the lookout for. So these items sold on Mercari. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, Mercari is a great platform. If you're not selling on Mercari, I highly recommend it. There is a link down in the description. And if you use that link to sign up, you get a credit and I get a credit to like buy something. Um, I think you actually have to buy something before I get my credit or something like that. But anyway, um, I think you get your credit right away. So um, if I remember correctly, it's like a $10 credit towards a purchase, which is awesome. So again, there's a link down below for that. Um, I'm sporting my Bola Buddies hoodie. If you guys are interested in purchasing a shirt, some merch, there's a link down below for that also. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this video. These um, bolos range from bread and butter to big money. I do offer free shipping on Mercari. That is just my choice of how I like to do it. And then I ship with pirate ship. Um, people have suggested that I add shipping because if I do that, then I'm not building the shipping into my price and the fee won't be as high which I was like, hmm, I get that. Um, but sometimes I think like the shipping on Mercari is kind of high. So uh, kind of depends on the item. I only ship USPS. So that could be part of the problem because I don't use UPS or FedEx right now. So let me know in the comments what you guys do on Mercari. If you sell on Mercari, uh, if you use shipping or you don't use shipping. So then everybody can kind of go to the comments, check it out, and maybe we can all take everybody's uh, different selling styles and maybe learn something. So I'm not saying my way is right. That's just how I do it. I charge shipping on eBay. Poshmark charges the shipping, but on Mercari, I do free shipping. So I don't know. Just got to find what works for you. All right, let's get into some of these Bolo items. Um, let me get my screen share up here. All right, so the first item that sold, you guys, this was super long tail. Um, sorry, let me make sure. Sometimes I feel like I forget to put it on screen share. So Cherish Teddies, I actually just did a video, and there was a Cherish Teddies that went for big money in that video. Uh, so I guess look these up if you see them. This guy took forever to sell. I don't even remember where I got him. I've had him for so long. He's been listed since 529 of 2019. So I'm going to say don't bolo for this guy, but definitely look up Cherish Teddies because some of them can go for big money. I don't know what makes some of them go for big money, but this guy sold for $14 with free shipping. I did make a profit. I probably got him for less than a dollar or free um, it's not something I typically source for, so it may have just been thrown into a bundle or something that I got, but hey, it sold. I made a profit. I was going to share it with you guys, but most importantly, make sure you look them up because the video I just did, I think one of them sold for like $200, so, and it was an auction, um, and that video was 50 Unexpected Bolos. I have a whole series on it, so... Um, I'm not sure. It'll be in my most recent video, but I'm not sure which video I'm going to post first. So if you don't see it in the last one, check the next one. And he actually looks like he's a little bit dirty, but they left me positive feedback. Um, I got paid. All right. The next item are these Glimmies. I picked these up at a Toys R Us going out of business sale. I bought a ton. Um, I think my cost of goods was like a dollar. Um, because it was the last day and I believe I got 90% off. Um, again, I bought a bunch of these. They're little light up figures. You turn a switch on and when it's dark, they light up. I I've done okay with them. Um, I kind of had to wait until other people sold theirs, but these sold for $23 free shipping. And again, it was a long tail item. The next item are these shimmer and shine dolls. Um, these sat for quite a while, actually, but I ended up selling them for $19 free shipping. You guys, I'm 
really bad about doing price drops and sending offers unless somebody likes my item over on Mercari. So my items will sit on Mercari and I just ignore them because I have so many listings that I don't recommend that, but, um, price drops are really important, but everything eventually sells. I really like Mercari because this item has been listed since December of 2019 and all of a sudden it just sold <laughs> for $19 free shipping. I probably had a buck or less in these. So a uh, nice little profit there. Um, it was long tail. I only listed this on Mercari for some reason. And how I know that, if it tells inventory tote 11, if it tells that in the description, I know that I only listed it on Mercari and I didn't put it on eBay or Poshmark. I don't know why I did that for this item, but um, it may have sold quicker on one of those other platforms. The next item I sold is this La Blanca swimsuit. Again, it's been sitting in my store since 5, 6 of 20. Long tail item. I, I list it and I ignore it. I should say I cross post it. So I start all of my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. Sometimes other platforms, I do a little bit of Facebook, Etsy, and Grailed, but not a lot. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post because I can cross post in bulk. So I'll list my items during the day and then I will cross post at night. I do have a video that shows you how I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you want to check that out, it's down in the description of the video. If you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that'll get you 30% off your first month. This has been a complete game changer for me. I love List Perfectly. I cross posted 3,000 items manually before List Perfectly was a thing, and I have done it both ways. And I will tell you, it is worth every penny, and I love it and highly recommend it. So, you guys know that I don't push a lot of things. Um, unless I use them and love them because um, that's just how I am. I want to make sure that I've used the product. I trust it. And um, then I share it with you guys if it's awesome. And List Perfectly is awesome. Okay. So this swimsuit, I think this was a um, either a Gabriel Brothers or a TJ Maxx pickup. And if I remember correctly, my cost of goods was around $5. And I think I put in, I think I told you guys hard goods only. This is definitely not a hard good. So maybe I do have some clothing in this one. So I'll have to take that out of the title. But um, yeah, this was, I, I bought, I'm going to say like 10 or 15 of this same style. So that's why this one's hanging around so long because I've sold a bunch of them. And I had, this might've been my last one actually. So I got different sizes, different colors, different styles. Um, and it sold for $30 free shipping. And I will say I was selling them cheaper on eBay. So I was really happy to get 30 with free shipping on this. The next item that sold are these Bailey Kids School Books. Um, I'm sorry, Bailey School Kids Books. It's um, like a book series. They're vintage. They're for, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you have to be able to read, but they're not like for teenagers, I wouldn't think. So what, what grade do kids start reading? Second, third, fourth. <laughs> ah, I don't know. It's probably that age range. But these sold for $21 free shipping. And again, it was a little bit of a long tail item. I like to put um, books on Mercari. I just lot them up like this. Um, I should do more of it because they eventually sell. And uh, vintage books can do really well. The next item I sold is this Cacique bra. I picked this up in a wholesale buy. I think this one came off Facebook Marketplace. And I sold this for $23 with free shipping. Cacique bras are a fantastic brand to pick up. Cacique, C-A-C-I-Q-U-E. Um, I bolo for them quite often. If I find them, I buy them. I found them at the Goodwill. I buy them wholesale. I bought them wholesale off of Facebook. I buy them at discount stores and I have actually sourced them directly from the Lane Bryant website because they are a bolo. Now, if you source them retail arbitrage, your profit is not going to be as much, but you can still make some money. 
Um, if you retail arbitrage from the website, what you're going to have to do is kind of sit on them for a little bit until the website runs out. Um, I will typically, when I am retail arbitraging from websites, and I haven't done it for a long time, I used to do it quite often, I will look for coupons. Um, so I will type into the search bar um, the website and I will say coupon code. So Lane Bryant coupon code. Um, I've also sourced from Catherine's, uh, David's Bridal, uh, Fredericks of Hollywood. So you just try to find the coupon codes and then you wait for the items to go on clearance. A lot of the stores will let you use the coupons with the clearance, which can really get your po price point down. Now, not all of them will, and you have to be careful and watch your cart. Um, what I will typically do is take the total number of items and divide it out by my total cost um, with the tax and the shipping and everything and see, is this really worth it? Because a lot of times I end up dumping my cart because I just can't get the price low enough for it to make sense. So um, that's my little RA tip. Um, the next item I sold is um, actually a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, Neat Finds from Naomi, purchased this item from me. She has a Mercari store. She also has an eBay store. So definitely go and check her out. Um, I actually shared this item in the last video, but I wasn't sure if she wanted me to share that she had purchased it and she had commented in the video that she was the person that purchased it. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys in this video. So go check her out on Mercari. And this is what she bought from me. And I believe she bought this for her daughter. Um, I don't know if they'll end up selling some of the stuff or if she just bought it as a gift for her daughter, but $59 free shipping. It's just a costume jewelry lot. There's over a hundred pieces here. Um, some of it could definitely be resold. And it's also just a great costume jewelry lot, you know, to play around with and wear the different jewelry. I do usually put my um, lots of jewelry over on Mercari. Sometimes I skip eBay. Sometimes I skip Poshmark even. And I just put them on Mercari because they have a tendency to do really well. So my tip for you is, is if you have costume jewelry that you're just trying to unload because you don't have time to list it, um, definitely consider putting those items on Mercari. Um, so again, it, this all came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I bought 355 pounds of jewelry or no, wait, was it three? No, I think it was 344 pounds of jewelry. And I've documented picking it up, weighing it. I've got unboxing videos and most of those are on my main Bolo Buddies channel, this channel. Um, I still have a whole tote full that I need to unbox. I just haven't had time and it's kind of just been put to the wayside. And I just can't get to it all. So I do lot things up periodically. Um, I'm going to show you another lot that I recently picked up from a garage sale that I um, just sold. So we'll get to that at the end of the video. The next item I sold are these holiday socks. Uh, so it's Easter, Christmas, I think. I don't know. There's four different um, holidays, Valentine's Day. And I retail arbitrage these, I think, off of Bye Bye Baby, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that. I think that was a, um, I think that was a website buy. I was trying something new, but there wasn't a whole lot of stuff. But I think I ended up getting these socks for like a buck. Uh, okay. The next item, and that was a long tail item too. So sat for about a year but I sold them for $12 free shipping. So not great margins, but okay. The next item I sold are these mixed lot of Angry Birds uh, mini figures. I sold these for $22 with free shipping. I believe these came out of a mystery box or a Facebook. Uh, actually, this might've been a Facebook marketplace buy. Um, it would have been a bulk buy. So I had probably less than a dollar in these. I love selling toys. They are easy to ship. They are easy to list and people buy them. So, um, and they're easy to find. So I will take the time to do bread and butter toy listings. I just enjoy it. Um, so yeah, 
The next item I sold are these mega blocks dump trucks. Uh, they are blocks, you guys. So you take them apart like this. Um, and you put them together and they're mega blocks. And I sold these three cars for $27 free shipping. I believe those also came out of a mystery box. The next item, I sold another brawl. I already told you the story on that. The next item was awesome. I picked this up at a thrift store and I did not write down what I paid for it. I don't recall. Oh, I want to say it was $2, but don't quote me on that. I actually did a hashtag shorts video on this item. It is over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So if you want to find out what I paid for it, I'm pretty sure I put it in that video. Uh, so go check that out. I sold this scrapbook for $75 free shipping. And again, it came from a thrift store. They left me feedback saying they were looking for this photo album. I believe it was for her dad. Um, he, he had had the same one and she wanted to replace it maybe. I don't know. So again, it was the right buyer that just happened to come along and I had what they needed. So super cool story there. I do have another one listed that has... Um, does this have the dragon? Okay, this has a dragon. I can't remember what the other one has, but it's the same type of uh, scrap or scrapbook album, and I got it at the same time. The next item is this Disney Infinity Alice and in Wonderland figure. I sold this for $32, free shipping. Picked it up at a garage sale and a bulk lot of these. Definitely look up the Infinity characters. Some of them go for more than others. This is what it looked like on the bottom. You just want to include that information in your listing so people know what, what it goes to, which game. The next item that sold is this Naturally Fierce Perfume. This came from a garage sale. I think I paid a dollar for it. Um, I believe it was partially used. You can see there. I, I don't know. Maybe sometimes they are not filled to the top, so it may have been brand new. I had the original box and everything. Sold it for $47 free shipping. Shipping was about eight bucks um, because it had to go ground. So always remember to take that into consideration when you're pricing your item that the shipping is going to be a little more. The next item I sold are these vintage Hercules Disney McDonald's plates. You guys are probably sick of hearing about these. Um, they were in the thrift battle from that I did on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. Um, I think I did a short on these. Oh no, they were a part of my, this is my bolo video. So, but they are a great bolo that a lot of people don't know about. These are McDonald's plates from 1997. I sold these for $137 free shipping. And I picked these up at an estate sale for, I think it was $4. The next item was a part of my thrift five and 15. I picked up this Mentadent at a thrift store. Oh, I can't remember what I paid for it. It's in that video if you want to check it out. Um, so hashtag thrift five and 15, I think was the hashtag we used. Um, it was a video where a bunch of resellers collabed and we all did a thrift five items in 15 minutes. So we went into the store. We only had 15 minutes to look. And I think it was 15 minutes. Now I'm questioning it. That doesn't seem like a lot of time, but I think it was 15 minutes. Um, but it was super fun. If you want to see everybody's videos, the challenge is over. There was a winner. Um, but there's still great um, videos to watch, to learn. And it's just kind of fun to see everybody kind of rushing around trying to find their items. But I found this bolo and I didn't even win, you guys. And I sold it for 130 with free shipping. I should have won. Just kidding. The winner did a great job. All right. The next item is this coach embossed black leather luggage tag. I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. Um, a dibble box is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And I actually bought a reseller's box. A dibble box is basically a reseller's box. In my opinion, I bought a box for my husband and him and I actually unbox it together. Uh, that is over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. And it's a lot of fun. My husband and I actually unbox it at the same time. So he's telling me what he wants to keep. And I'm like, I need to sell some of it. But I did buy it for him. And 
there were some coach items in there and I was able to recoup most of my money just with those, but there were some other things that I sold and then my husband kept some stuff. So it's a fun video, but I buy her boxes to resell the items. I do have other videos. Some of them are on this channel. If you type in Dibble in my search bar, you should be able to find those. Uh, this sold for $25 free shipping. The next item is this Disney Mickey Mouse transforming uh, Mickey in the Roadster car. It has light and sound, so it talks. And I sold this for $24 free shipping. The next item I sold is this Play School Heroes Transformers. These are another item that you want to be on the lookout for and you want to look them up. They range from $10, I mean, this upwards, I, don't, I wouldn't say big money, but a nice little bolo because you can typically get these for like 25 cents, 50 cents. And I sold this one for $31 free shipping. This one is a little harder to find. Um, so I did get a little more for it, but definitely look them up. The next item I sold are these North Face mittens. These sold super fast. Um, I got them, on, I posted them on 825 and I've had these pulled up. So it probably took less than a month to sell. I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold them for $14 free shipping. The next item is my husband's bolo. If you don't know, my husband is a bolo finder. He does work full time. So he just kind of does this on the side. Um, he does have certain things that he likes to list. He picked this up at a um, kind of like an I buy gold place. Um, they were selling off some of their stuff. And this actually ended up being an authentic Tiffany and Company sterling silver. I think he paid whatever cost would have been by weight for this item. But because it was a collectible vintage item, he was able to sell this for $303 with free shipping. And it sold quick. Uh, we listed it on 9-8, so it took less than a month. To, sorry about that. The next item I sold is this brooch pin clip lot. So this is 76 items. Um, you know, I probably should have looked up all of these little pins right here, um, but I didn't. Uh, a lot of these are like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, for, uh, I can't think of what it's called, award or service pens. Some of them can be a bolo. I didn't look them up. I just listed this as a lot. It sold, I think, in less than 15 days for $85 free shipping. So it's 76 items sold for 85 free shipping. That's, you know about a buck a piece, approximately. Um, this is my Mercari store. It is actually called Bolo Buddies. So if you're interested in lots of jewelry, I do them from time to time, not on a consistent, regular basis. I think I, I have an earring lot listed right now, and then I have a, um, a jewelry box with some jewelry in it. Now, would I consider these reseller lots? I don't know because I didn't look up the price for what they sell for. Um, I got all of this at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy. I cherry picked it to make my money back plus a little. And then I just get overwhelmed and I lot it up. So maybe a reseller bought this. Maybe a collector bought this. Maybe just somebody who likes jewelry bought this. I have no idea. But um, I'm not, I mean, I guess a reseller could have bought it. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, I'm not really selling them as reseller lots per se. I'm just selling them as lots of jewelry. They're uncleaned. Um, I don't like fancy anything up. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to list it myself. Uh, but a dollar each, I mean, I'm sure there's some, definitely some money that can be made there. So all right, you guys, uh, if you ever buy any of my jewelry lots, try to zoom in, try to look things up. Um, I try to price them reasonable, but um, yeah, I don't know. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.